Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Simone Talma Flowers, and I serve as the Executive Director of Interfaith Action of Central Texas, an organization committed to connecting people of diverse faiths and cultures to cultivate peace and respect through interfaith dialogue, service, and celebration. Everything we do is to provide opportunities where we can have a deeper understanding of each other. We believe in the inherent goodness that we possess. We belong to one humanity, and it's important for us to stand with each other and support each other. So thank you for being here. Here is the order of the program. I will read the IAC statement in support of the Jewish community, and later we will address the fire at Congregation Beth Israel. We will hear remarks from City of Austin Mayor Steve Adler, Rabbi Neil Blumoff of Congregation Aguda Sakim, Rene Lefer from Anti-Defamation League, and Rabbi Kelly Levy of Congregation Beth Israel. Let us thank all our elected officials for their presence today. Representatives from the office of Lloyd Duggett, Mike McCall, and Chip Roy. State representatives Vicki Goodwin, Gina Hinojosa, Donna Howard, James Tellorico, Erin Zeinmo. Travis County Commissioners, Judge Andy Brown, Jeff Trevilian, Travis County Sheriff Sally Hernandez, Austin Mayor Steve Adler, Austin City Council members Allison Alter, Greg Cesar, Victoria Fuentes, Mackenzie Kelly, Leslie Poole, Kathy Tovo, and Paige Ellis, Austin Chief of Police Joseph Chacon, Austin Fire Department Assistant Chief Jeff Kennedy, and Division Chief Tom Bock, Bucky. AISD Superintendent, Dr. Stephanie Elizande. AISD Chair Chairman of the Board of Directors, Geronimo Rodriguez. Pflugerville City Council Member, Rudy Metaya. Former Mayor and State Senator, Kirk Watson. President of Houston Tillotson University, Dr. Colette Pierce Burnett. Thank you for being present. We are here to publicly read a statement of support of the Jewish community. Standing behind me are faith leaders from all aspects of our community. This statement was signed by over 500 people. Today, we have gathered a cross-section of our community who have signed a statement to stand with us, to bear witness as we publicly read the statement of support. We are people of diverse faiths, cultures, and backgrounds from all facets of the Austin and Central Texas community. We express grief, sadness, and anger at the dehumanizing eruptions of hate our community has experienced recently. We believe in the sovereign right that all are born equal and all are born good. We believe in religious freedom and the right for people to pray and worship in peace. We condemn all hate and acts of violence upon any of our faith communities. Hateful acts of intimidation to incite violence is unacceptable and we will not be silent. We stand united with our Jewish community 
as they are targeted and victimized by acts of anti-Semitism. We pledge to continue to work together as diverse and committed leaders to achieve this vision of a peace-filled and safe community where everyone is valued. Mayor Steve Adler. Any of the elected officials want to come up here with me? These would be elected officials. These would be the city officials. I know your name was read just a moment ago, so don't feel like you have to, but it's important, I think, that uh, people see all of us here. So for just a second, let's talk about hate and let's talk about fear. When we see acts of hate, they're jarring. They are hurtful and they are scary. But they are not surprising. Thank goodness they're infrequent. But they're not surprising. Because there are people who do hateful and, and horrible, wrongful things that live at the society of society, at the fringes of society. That's not new. It's not particularly surprising that they're there because we know that they are there. That hate exists at the fringes of society is not the danger. The danger is that that hate spreads. The danger is that it doesn't stay at the fringe. And that's why when we see that hate at the fringe of society, it is so incredibly important that all the rest of us call it out for what it is. That all the rest of us say that is not us. That does not represent who we are in this community. But make no mistakes about it. We see that show of hate at the fringe because it is intended to make targeted groups scared. Jews, blacks, Hispanics, members of the LGBTQ community, the intent is to make them scared and to cause them to believe or question whether or not they are alone. It's not just the, 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 the awful fringe that thinks these things. The fear that the rest of the community would accept it or would acquiesce to it or support it is the fear that those acts try to instill. The petition that was signed, the presence of people here today. I hope the petition stays online so that anybody in our community can go on and sign that petition. Because that's how we as a community say, that is not us. That's how we as a community say that we will keep you protected and we will keep you safe. We will keep one another protected. We will keep one another safe. That we don't want anyone in this community to be scared because as a community, we have everyone's back. That's what this is today. That's the message that we need to send. And personally, as an aside, and as a member of the Jewish community, I want to thank everybody who has shown up here today. Thank you. Stay in, buddy. Stay, 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 stay. Great. Fantastic. Count you in the main. <laughs> Simone? Good afternoon, everyone. The true test of friendship is not to say I love you in moments of convenience or spectacle. Rather, it is to do the hard work every day 
to know someone else's pain and to carry a part of their burden. In Austin, we are blessed to live in a community where so many do this hard work. We stand by each other's side in times of travail. We regularly show up for each other. So many kind and unseen acts by so many in building the bonds of trust, which are the nuts and bolts of fashioning our beloved community, can happen. In the grim shadow of the Holocaust, the philosopher Albert Camus wrote of our need to meet the discomfiture of hate with clear language in order to set forth the values that a world at peace will find indispensable. That is the purpose of this statement of alliance and support. In turn, our Jewish community is here as a partner, one presence among many in a stunning coalition of backgrounds to call for a strengthening of moral respect in our community in order to chase away the hate and violence with steadfast and dependable care and attention. What we do every day becomes a habit which shapes the development of our character. Whatever we pay attention to grows and becomes part of who we are. This afternoon, we are standing in front of the oldest existing synagogue building in the great state of Texas, which originally stood in the town of Brenham. And if these walls could talk, they would speak of times when immigrants became Americans, neighbors who went out of their way to help each other. These walls would remind us that in the face of our differences, we can even sometimes laugh together. And our ties are strengthened as our precious children grow up all together. From our history in this Lone Star State, we learn that we are not to stand idly by when we have an opportunity to make things better. We are to support each other in the pursuit of purpose, meaning, and satisfaction in life. And with appreciation to all who stand as partners this day and every day, and those who will continue to join in let us continue to seek each other with curiosity and gratitude. Let us continue to raise each other up by tending to friendship. Asking questions grows our own self-confidence. Let us never retreat from the opportunity we have to make our home in Austin a home of which we are proud because of what we choose to do while making our lives here. It is connection and belonging that we stand for today. And everyone, in response to your outpouring of friendship, we, the Jewish community, resolves in turn to see your pain. And in doing the hard yet noble work of friendship, we thus say, we love you too. Thank you. Are there any other elected officials that I did not mention? I see Councilmember Hoff Natasha Hoffman Madison. Are there any others that? Um, State Representative Cecilia Israel. Thank you all for being here. Anyone else? Okay. He was mentioned. Okay, at this time, I would like to invite all the community members and everyone else to be here, besides the media, of course. So, because we want to really show the cross section of our community who are standing here. So, come on up. We have a space for you here. We can go up on the stairs some more, but we want this visual picture of you. So, Stephanie. please be here. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you can come back and. Um, Okay, there's stairs. You can go up the stairs if you want. Hi, everyone. 
Um, my name is Renee LaFerre. I am the Regional Director of ADL Austin and a convener of the Austin Travis County Hate Crimes Task Force. On behalf of Rabbi Daniel Septimus and Shalom Austin, we are here to let Austin and the greater community know that given the blatant anti-Semitism the last 10 days, that we are on it. That we work together as a community to respond to every anti-Semitic incident and crime and to hold those perpetrators of hate accountable for their actions. That we work every day to ensure the safety of the Jewish community. That we work with community partners, with elected officials, with the Austin Police Department and Travis County and the Austin Fire Department to fully investigate and strategize over how to best handle each instance. And we are grateful for that collaboration. We have learned from over a century of working in this space that language matters, that hate begets hate. In our current environment of national division, it is our goal, our duty, to keep these acts of hatred at the fringes of society where they belong. We also know that, as we have seen in the beautiful work of IACT and in this extremely important statement that you have heard today, that community overcomes hate that acceptance, unity, and support beget more of the same. It takes us all coming together to oppose anti-Semitism and hate and bigotry in all of its forms to make Austin no place for hate. We thank the Austin community for its overwhelming support. My name is Rabbi Kelly Levy. I'm the Associate Rabbi at Congregation Beth Israel. I'd like to express my gratitude to all the first responders, in particular the Austin Fire Department, for your fast action last night, which greatly minimized the damage to our beloved building. To all of the Jewish community and our interfaith <coughs> friends and neighbors, thank you for checking in, for showing your support, and sending lots of love our way. It does not go unnoticed. As you have heard from the speakers today, this is sadly not the first time our community has faced anti-Semitism anti and discrimination. It is not the first time the Austin interfaith community has come together to support one another, to speak out against hatred, and to diminish the voices of those who are working to divide us. As a native Texan, this hatred breaks my heart but we are in this together. We will be persistent, compassionate, and resolute because our love for humanity strengthens our resistance to hatred. We will be okay. We know this rise in anti-Semitism and acts of violence in our community will not deter our spirit, that we will continue to flourish and thrive, and the support we've received allows us to come together united and able to push forward. We call on our public officials and candidates at all levels to call out religious hatred of any kind, including distancing themselves from supporters who fuel this hatred. These incidents will not be tolerated in our city. The Jewish community stands with every marginalized community, with our interfaith siblings, with all of humanity. We are asking for you to continue standing with us now. Thank you. Thank you. And right now, we would invite any questions, and we would like to ask the fire department, representatives from the fire department, to come up here to also answer any questions. Good afternoon. My name is Jeffrey Kennedy. I am an assistant chief with the Austin Fire Department, and we want to make clear to the community that the Austin Fire Department stands shoulder to, sh shoulder to shoulder in support of our community, communities of faith, our leadership, and our public safety partners. Unfortunately, last night, our community suffered a hit uh, due to some anti-Semitic actions. And we, as reported, uh, responded. And uh, I would like to say that our crews did an outstanding job of minimizing the damage. <laughs> uh, 
Today I have with me Division Chief Tom Vokey, the Fire Marshal, and Captain Jennings, who leads the investigation of this unfortunate event. And at this time, I will turn it over to Captain Jennings for any questions that you have. Question? Um, so approximately uh, 9.04 p.m. last night, the Austin Fire Department was notified of structure fire by a passerby. When fire crews arrived, they found uh, fire at the front entry of the building. <clears throat> they were able to extinguish it, force entry to ensure that there was no other fire in the building. Uh, they quickly called for the fire investigators based on what they saw at the scene. Um, it appeared that... Uh, there was some type of possible ignitable liquid used in the event to accelerate the fire. Um, investigators got there. We worked with the staff that was on scene. <clears throat> we have obtained some video footage at this time, and we're following up some tips that we have as well. Um, there was no, the, we, we call it an incendiary fire, which basically is a fire in a place where it shouldn't have been. Uh, there was no competent ignition sources that could have started this fire. And the fact that uh, we did run our accelerant canine in the fire debris as well, and we did get some positive hits. So we collected samples to send to the DPS State Lab for analysis as well. Um, we finished all of our examination and our interviews at that time, and we have been getting some uh, tips as well about certain um, activities going on in the area. And that's what we're kind of following up now with our partner agencies that we're dealing with. Uh, thanks, Dad. And can you also just say, you got the call in at 904. How quickly were, if you know, how quickly were firefighters here and when, when was the fire extinguished? I don't know that off the top of my hand. Based on the location, I believe uh, a, a unit that's uh, just off of Burnett Road in Hancock Lane was the first unit there. And I believe they were there within probably three to four minutes. Mm -hmm. Uh, by the time that they did get there, the fire had uh, downsized quite a bit uh, because this building, uh, fortunately, is a uh, all concrete type building, and uh, basically concrete doesn't really burn. So they, they were, I mean, they were fortunate, and you know, that's if you can get one one high point out of it, you know, you can pull that from it. That based on the building construction, it did save the building quite a bit. Uh, it's Captain Brandon Jennings, J-E-N-N-I-N-G-S. Back there. Did you say you had some security camera footage that you were looking over? We are, we are reviewing footage from, from the buildings right now. From nearby buildings? Or buildings? From the actual fire buildings. Uh, was there any damage at all, Captain? Uh, yes. Uh, the wooden doors, the entry doors that are there, uh, did receive damage from the fire. Um, there was uh, some interior damage to uh, some um, some floor mats that were there. The door jam was damaged. Uh, there was scorching. There was a smoke staining on all the leaded glass that's above all those doors. And uh, there was unfortunately one piece of glass that was broken. It does appear uh, from what we found that maybe there was an item thrown at that uh, to break it. Uh, we, we had that damage. Um, we, we estimate the damage based on the doors, uh, what they're made of, and the cleanup, probably around $25,000 worth of damage. You want to see okay. okay. Just I want everyone to know, I want everyone to thank, uh, thank the Austin Fire Department. They were amazing last night. Um, but I also, in terms of the work in this last, 10 days and everything. I also want to make sure that, you know, AISD is recognized for their work and Austin Police Department is recognized for the amount of times that we've also communicated and worked with them in the last week. And I want everyone, I know that this happened last night, but I don't want to forget all of the people that we've worked with and thank them as well. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.
All right. Thank you, everyone, for being here today. And our faith leaders are here to answer any questions that you have. So if you want to speak with them, please feel free to go um, talk with them. And there is food over here <laughs> and drinks. So thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Thanks for sticking with us here on KXAN Live. Will Dupree coming to you from the KXAN Live studio. The news conference there has concluded with the Interfaith Action of Central Texas, a collection of faith leaders from across the community on top of uh, city, state, county, and other local officials joining together to send a message in support of the Jewish community here in our, um, in our area, as well as to condemn some of the recent anti-Semitic incidents that have happened and been reported upon that we've done, the latest being this fire at the congregation Beth Israel uh, in Austin. Uh, the fire department there saying that the fire last night uh, caused about $25,000 in damage. The fire department does have its hands on some of the security camera footage that was at this particular synagogue. They are reviewing that. They are also going through some tips that they have received. So for right now, the investigation is ongoing. No arrests have been made. However, we're hearing that uh, lots and lots of resources are being put into this particular incident there again at the congregation Beth Israel. To read more about that and to find out how you can potentially even help with the investigation, we have all that information available for you on our website, kxan.com. You can also access it on the KXAN News app, so please download that if you have not done so already. We thank you again for watching. I'm Will Dupree coming to you from the KXAN Live studio. We'll see you back here another time. Please, everybody, stay safe and healthy out there. Take care.